Did you know your organic produce might have blood on it? <laughs> yup, and I mean that quite literally. If you don't wash your vegetables well enough when you buy them organic, they might actually have blood and bone meal on them. As you can see from the title of today's video, I'm going to be talking about veganic agriculture, aka a method of growing food that is both vegan and organic. And I'm going to be explaining exactly what it is and why I think it is the most ethical and sustainable farming method available to us. For more holistic vegan analysis, subscribe to my channel below and make sure you hit that bell button so that you'll actually be notified every week when I release new content. Hey friends, Serena here. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, I've been vegan since birth and I teach people about veganism and help empower people to live as ethically and sustainably as possible in our extremely complicated world. So I've seen a growing number of vegans recently talking about how organic produce isn't actually vegan because bone and blood meal and slaughterhouse byproducts are sometimes used as fertilizers in it. They go on to argue that therefore vegans should be buying and supporting conventionally grown grains and produce instead because that's the more vegan option. While this is certainly a valid gray area that exists because of our complicated and clearly not yet vegan world, I disagree with this take. And that's because it ignores that there is an even better alternative solution called veganic farming, aka stock-free farming that doesn't use any animal products while still being organic. Veganic farming essentially builds on the principles of traditional organic agriculture and agroecology, such as building up the soil rather than depleting it and using natural substances that work in harmony with our ecosystems and ecology rather than fighting nature with toxic industrial chemicals. So like traditional organic farming, veganic farming rejects the use of synthetic fertilizers, synthetic pesticides, and genetically modified organisms. However, it is true that much of traditional organic farming does rely on the use of animal manure, animal inputs, and slaughterhouse byproducts such as blood and bone meal for things like fertilizer, making it not vegan and still heavily reliant on animal exploitation. So in contrast to regular old organic agriculture, veganic agriculture eschews all products of animals and animal exploitation and relies on the use of cover crops and green compost for improving and enhancing soil fertility and quality. This gives us the best of both worlds because it is extremely reductionist to think that only organic farming of vegetables and crops hurts animals and that industrial agriculture has no impact and is ethically much better. Synthetic pesticides that are used in industrial agriculture to grow monocrops and mass produce vegetables sicken and kill thousands of animals and wildlife every year. The most commonly used group of insecticides called neonicotinoids has been linked with colony collapse disorder among bees and, and chronic exposure to glyphosate, the active ingredient in Roundup, one of the most common weed killers used in industrial agriculture, has been linked to numerous forms of cancers and tumors in many small rodents and wildlife, as well as disrupting the function of earthworms and other soil organisms that are extremely important for ecosystem health and, and animal life and insect life in general. And I'm barely scratching the surface here. The sad reality is that the entire world is still built so heavily on the backs of normalized violence and animal exploitation that it is unfortunately pretty hard to avoid, regardless of what types of produce you're eating, regardless of how you're living your life, or how hard you are trying. That doesn't mean we should stop trying, though. No. And of course, don't forget that upwards of 60 to 70% of all grain grown in the United States isn't even fed to people, but it's for livestock. So simply by being vegan, we are immensely reducing our impact on the planet and wildlife and animal agriculture and animals being harmed, no matter what way you look at it. And whether you choose to buy industrially grown and produced crops and vegetables or organically produced ones. While veganic agriculture isn't that well known or mainstream yet, I really do think it is a viable future and alternative to our current agricultural systems that we have. And we can help make that more of a reality by supporting locally grown veganic produce and farms whenever possible and spreading awareness about what veganic agriculture is and sharing it with those around us to help grow and build the veganic farming movement into something that more viably can feed the world. Now you know what veganic agriculture is, but I know that going vegan can still seem daunting. So if you are new here and looking for support, don't forget you can go to my website at the link below and sign up for my email list to download your free vegan living guide today. 
Check out these videos next for more information on why veganism is always the more sustainable option for the entire world. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button and share this video wherever you can, and I will see you next week.